Comedian Amy Poehler directed this fascinating documentary that tells how Lucy, a moderately successful Hollywood actress, and Desi, a conga-playing band leader from Cuba, created I Love Lucy, the 1950s sitcom that has become the longest-running TV show of all time. Lucille Ball started her showbiz career as a model moved on to be a chorus girl and then a star in second-tier dramas. Desi Arnaz was an immigrant whose first job in America was washing bird cages, but he went on to become a band leader, playing a mean conga. The two met when they were cast in the same movie, and they married soon after. But they were apart more than they were together. His band was touring, and she was making films in Hollywood before getting into radio comedy. In order to be together, the pair wanted to make a TV comedy playing a couple very much like themselves. No one wanted him to play my husband because he was Cuban and they wanted a real American couple. CBS relented when the pair became popular doing comedy skits on stage. Lucy's character was the heart and soul of I Love Lucy. She'd do anything for a laugh. It kind of looks like her. This is excellent, Ricardo. <laughs> Early on, Buster Keaton was a mentor to Lucy, teaching her the importance of props. And later in life, Lucy was a mentor to Carol Burnett. What Lucy gave me was a sense I could do anything and try anything. As an actress, you should be observing everyone's body movements. Everyone's. Cats, dogs, old ladies in the park, drunks. Just observe. The success of I Love Lucy enabled the couple to buy a movie studio, where they became the force behind many popular TV shows. Work became our whole life. It was the beginning of the end for their marriage. Lucy and Desi both died in the late 1980s, but I Love Lucy lives on. You can watch it on Hallmark and TBS, or stream it on sites like Amazon Prime and Hulu. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.